the vacuum here has got the cord. Dirt devil. Okay. Back at the yard. So what I'm gonna do is take all my power supplies, which don't have time to clean them at the moment. They're not paying very much. It's only shred price. So I'm just gonna store them in this barrel for now. Storm that barrel until I'm ready to start working on them. Cause I need to clear the shelf here. I need the space. holes in that barrel too so should only put filled that up yesterday. See a lot of power supplies here so Once I sort everything out, it's really good. So I'll have all my different mixture of stuff on these shelves here. I have a lid for that too, so put the lid on after. I used to buy them for 15 cents a pound, but now that I don't think they want them at all. But uh, we'll see. It's storm for now. Some are pretty heavy, so some have some better stuff in there, right? Okay, I'm gonna fill that up and then need to clean some. They do scrap run today. Maybe some aluminum or something. Okay. What else do I have ready right now? Some. Don't fit that great, but it still works. I got little tubs here. A couple of boards and stuff in there. They all have holes in it. Right. So, see these are just, I can strip these in five minutes basically, it was easy, just one board, you have so many of these things. See? Everywhere. Plugs here.
You have to organize all this, clean all this stuff up. Inside here. But uh, first I have to get these shelves clear, then I can start repacking them. So another one here. Some more. I don't have a big container over there, but I thought I had a few loose ones. There's another one here. And then I'm going to put all these like brass doorknobs and then stuff like that in their own container. So I start stripping everything later. Grab a bucket, strip the bucket type thing. It's all kind of cast aluminum here. Next. And these things here. I find these all the time. Too good. Oh, it there it is. Just going to garbage. Okay, so I'm going to make a start getting some aluminum ready. So I have stainless steel, a bunch of stuff in here ready. Just make a quick load if you know what I mean at least instead of moving it twice might as well move it in my in my truck and dump it you know what I mean okay let me get this organized here okay and I found this actually it was like this the way I found it but I left all the good, good stuff behind transformer right there transformer even the front has uh, extruded aluminum. Well, I don't know if it's maybe not extruded, but it's still aluminum. Very big, very front plate. Right here. I don't think it's extruded, but I think it's just aluminum. The bonus. We have a heat sink in here, but I'm trying to figure out how to get it out. So rusted. I figure what it probably holds the board is all these screws here. I understand why this tip of seems so fine. That's to get a perfect round of screw, otherwise it doesn't want to go on. The one I had broke was nice. It was narrow, but it also went in everywhere. I don't see them. 
very much of a super board, but that's a few ice chips. Ready to go shred. Okay, so I was gonna strip this in here. It's plastic here. Put plastic here. Okay, so put plastic there. So you have this here, this one you have to knock off the, the rivets. See that? It's pretty simple. Turning inside this problem. The flat heads here. Well, these pot lights, most of them are aluminum, so you come across, and this one's an old one, that's why it's so complicated. You get the newer ones here, a lot better than this. It's ground right here. So, you know, Axe works pretty good on everything. Even when you get stuff like this, even. This actually a, it's a light, so it's got a ballast built in somehow. I don't know how I can get it out. I think this slides out or something. Never done like this before. I don't know how they even get together like this. So compact. Hmm. I 
take some of this off here. Let's pull the brass contacts there. Let's just slide right out. But there's a little ballast here. It has to come out with a little circuit board. I don't know how they got these guys in there in the first place. And it's done by machine pressed in there kind of things so you can't you can't repair them they're just disposable <clears throat> hey kitty he's my little hunter Bring food treats for him next time. It's my security guard. Okay, there it is. Start to come. Oh, it's just one. I'm gonna a couple wire. Long circuit board. Seems pretty long, not so long. Piece of wire, nice. I wonder how long this casing is? Can't be that long. Unless the whole thing is shielded in there, but it shouldn't make a difference. that long it's just not wanting to come out unbelievable why is it taking so hard Huh, steel, why'd they put steel in the center there, like, stupid design. For aluminum, I could just scrap it, like, you know, the way it is. No, nope, it's got steel inside it. Got it. Took forever. This would be extruded, I would think. What else we got here? So this is quite a bit of aluminum here, but it's like dirty too. It still works a bunch of so things last forever well built
here This is steel here, so let's go off. I just wonder how how this is put in there, like how is this fastened here? here like this possibly so it's brass too but it looks like it was pressed in there maybe I had to hammer it over something so I cast clean gears in there, how about that? I don't see a pin or nothing. So probably pressed on or something. Screwed on, maybe a certain way. So it's stripped up pretty good. It's completely stripped it. It's probably a brass bushing here.
There it is. Okay, stripped it. Got some wires are the other thing. Not too bad wires. times okay well stripped up pretty good actually so if you just sit here and just strip things all day it goes fast you can strip a lot of stuff but this the remainder here really not much to So this one here, I have to get this off here, and the way it's going to sit, it's coming. a lot of cast over there this is all okay so let me uh, put in a vise and I'll pipe wrench it off okay hold on show you this in here it says uh, life is crap it shows a full story of the police car different oh, steel here too so you need this big pipe wrench like this to do do this kind of stuff but you can't do it. I actually found this on the street, I think, one time. Well, maybe not this one, but I found one like something like this before, but it's found in the middle of a road. This one I think I got it on a demo or something. Okay. The only thing on this thing here. Not here, let's come off.
Okay. That's a nice little heavy couple pounds for sure. Okay. There's so much aluminum and so many products, you just gotta really look before you throw something out. Like this is aluminum here. I'll play under the cast, I think. Steel. You can really look. There's a box here. Screws, screw heads. Hmm. So we're cross between uh hmm, it's almost like it's a different looking. Some of these are a bit of a pain, but what are you doing, right? I'm going to knock the back off here, the rim is here. I feel like aluminum. It feels like really heavy and heavy and uh, like hard to bend. Okay. Aluminum here too. Soft metal. Not bad, you know. Stripping it, I guess. It's a box. A little wire in it. Aluminum. So good value, actually. If you if you start looking at every little thing we're taking out of here. Okay, let's get the wires. 
here. It's a little bit of grayed wire, so I'll put it over there for now. Okay, so that's stripped. Let's keep moving on. Okay. that pop there huh? That's one side. I find aluminum is hard to cut. It just seems really really hard metal. I guess that's why it's they pay so much more. Like it never uh, cuts. Wants to be stubborn. It is. It's a way better system like that. Okay. Clean rim. Gonna pop out. She cut the valve off. off, take my piece of lead, I have my other tool here, this might work, yeah, the other tool I have works really good, huh? it's just Tool. Get the screwdriver one side a bit. That's it. See that? No biggie. Okay. Okay, winding down on some of the materials here. Let's cast.
This will be cast also. So these ones are clean. Clean. Screws here are gonna come out. I got this from that house at the time. It all adds up, all these little things. So, this whole thing has to come out. tight. A little pipe wrench in a way. See if it doesn't doesn't come off. Like bang, bang the nut itself. Okay. turning here or not but Okay, you see now, you can do that, and it gives you a little more opening here, to take this off. It's 
scrap metal can do what you want, right? Smash it, whatever, doesn't matter. As long as the end result is it's clean enough to sell. Just to make extra money. You'll see, it's always, you'll check every square inch of this thing. Ah, these ones, see how it's undo, see that? Okay, I'm gonna continue some more. It's out here. Some, some are, some are kind of a little tricky, hard to figure out. I see. Some might say a little tricky, just hard to figure out, just because they got so many uh, ways of uh, putting it together. Let's we'll get those four screws. Clips look like aluminum too. so I can get out the piece here. There. There, let's get some wires there. This one's clean. This one's clean, see that? Not that bad, and they got good, good aluminum weight. Let's wait for the... It only took what, a couple minutes. Strip it off that. Okay. It's a stand, kickstand. Looks like it's frozen on pretty good. Let's see if I can undo it. Not really good. Oh, there it is, coming slowly. How this came loose? Oh, nut broke. Even better. Okay, so when you like this, so you don't have a saw, you can't cut it. All you have to do is go like this. Oops. Oh, it could have broke longer, but anyways. Anyways, this one is, you know, you'll never get these rivets out. you got to grind the hell out of it. Probably not worth it. But anyways, you got a couple things out of it. You know. Okay, so. Getting close. Getting close. Okay, so we got some dirty scooters, a few dirty things. We got a uh, lawnmower engine, uh, some other metal there, stainless steel clean, extruded, a, a stainless steel, aluminum wheel, uh, old sheet, cast aluminum. That's going to be my load. Clean up some of the yard instead of moving it twice. Generate a little bit of money. I, I decided to sell them the way they are. It's, they're a little bit dirty, but then I gotta go through grinding blade. Um, it's pretty hard metal to, to cut, so it is cast aluminum, but I don't want to, you know, spend two two dollars to cut it, or well, maybe say fifty cents to cut it, or a dollar when I'm gonna get probably a good fair value, anyways. Probably about seventy percent of the value, anyways, without doing anything. Here's the cast. Okay, that's my load. I'll let you know what it weighs and pays. Okay, so I uh, made the scrapyard just in time. This one's pretty slow right now. 
scrap yards all hit and miss. Some are busy, some are enough slow. But anyways, uh, I just want to pull over in a second and let you know what I got. Uh, not bad, but considering, you know, what I was doing there. You know, aluminum uh, prices are pretty good right now, actually. I'm very happy. But I just don't understand. Extruded, I got less for extruded. Okay, so, um... Let's see if I can get the other list here. Okay, cast cast aluminum, clean, fifty eight cents, and extruded was fifty three cents for extruded. So how could extruded be cheaper? Weird. Never seen that before. But anyways, I'm not arguing. Old sheet was fifty eight. Uh, auto cast auto wheels are seventy three. The one wheel I had there, irony aluminum twenty five cents a pound. And stainless steel prepared was uh, fifty two cents. So two hundred fifty seven pounds total. It was one twenty one for everything. So the irony aluminum twenty five cents a pound was nineteen seventy five. It's almost 80 pounds you know 25 cents sure if I clean it I mean well some things like I say I could clean but I'd have to go through at least one grinder disc for sure if I had to clean all those um, um, scooters and so on and, and that heavy cast a-frame and so on but anyways pretty good I'm happy for the totals you know lucky the prices are pretty good there's a total there 121 even there it is, 121 and 257 pounds total weight. Okay, so we're off, off to the races. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna end up uh, going back and doing some other stuff there. So this, we'll leave this video at, at this for now. Uh, if you like my videos, you like my content, if you wanted to share with your friends and so on, uh, make sure um, you ring that notification bell and give it a thumbs up. Let's my channel grow. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.